What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Phil 20, and I'm back. Check it out. We have solar panels on the roof, and we're adding some solar panels. These are the original panels that I had, and these are the expansion. There's 10 panels there. I was supposed to have 20 panels at uh, 10 of them had trouble but they uh, sent me out 10 more panels out of good faith uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below I haven't got the panels yet I'm assuming that they're good they said they were gonna inspect them so I mean the guy is seems like a man of his word so I'm pretty excited what I'm doing is adding a third row on this top edge right here of the Sun power 327 watt panels I believe I can get like uh, seven through here ish seven or so and uh, and three right there so I, I sh should be okay with uh, the links here which is gonna be awesome and I hope you guys like the video um, you know putting all these into the roof uh, I've got all the ones on the bottom row mounted and right here all the way that way mounted so i got one two three more to go that way and then i'm going to start roof tarring with the roofing cement or whatever you want to call it uh, i had to put on those black gloves over there you can see them and then i got to tar all of it so it's i mean i'll cover this side completely and then i'll cover the left and the right side and i'll sit, cover the cracks deep right here I really don't tar the back of it. It's not, it's not necessary. There's no reason to. Because uh, water don't flow uphill. Um, so, everything's measured out and laid out. We're just uh, laying it out. Uh, this will go one shingle higher. And then we're going to go straight across. That way it's nice and straight. Uh, and I, I learned something halfway through here you can use less blocks of wood if you put the blocks of wood right underneath both ends okay and that makes it even better because it levels it if you see on this side i haven't done that but on the bottom row i did that and it made such a big difference and you can see that uh, pvc pipe coming up uh you can see where i cut it off down here all it needs is air to suck through I mean, it doesn't really have to be rained on or anything. It just needs air to be sucked through. Uh, whenever the toilet flushes, that way air can vent in and out during uh, flushing of the toilet. So whenever the toilet flushes, water su uh, air sucks inside uh, and then vents back out later. So it's, you know, in and out vents. So... Uh, the back side you won't see any of the vent pipes anymore but they'll be covered by the solar panels and have about that far above it so it can vent even that one will plus if it uh, ever considered start leaking um, it probably ain't gonna leak because it's uh, underneath the solar panels uh, there'll be a little bit of water go on across but uh you know this has lasted for uh four years now so i'm pretty sure what i'm doing is going to work really well i mean you can see what i did this is what it looks like in the past that's a four year old rack and uh, this is brand new so it looks about the same the same stuff i did before so I'm going to get these uh, mounted on the roof, and I hope you guys liked the video. This is Philp 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. Oh, also, for you guys, I ordered another lens for my camera. I've had to use my smartphone to video this stuff, and it's just too difficult to move in and out of the computer. So I'm letting you know, we are getting a new camera lens, and it's going to improve the quality of the videos by a lot and i'm also going to consider doing some videoing of uh, mowing yards so stay tuned solar powered yard mowing peace out